King Charles was seen laughing alongside Sir Rod Stewart and David Beckham as they openly criticized Prince Harry's memoir, Spare. This public display of disdain from prominent figures marks a significant escalation in the royal family's ongoing turmoil and casts a shadow over Prince Harry's controversial revelations. The King's Foundation Awards, typically a night of celebration, took an unprecedented turn when Sir Rod Stewart and David Beckham took to the stage. Their comments about Prince Harry's memoir were not only candid but also scathing. Spare has been a subject of intense debate since its release, with Prince Harry laying bare his grievances and personal struggles within the royal family. However, the memoir has also been criticized for its perceived self-indulgence and airing of private family matters. King Charles's reaction to the remarks was unmissable. His laughter, captured by numerous cameras and swiftly shared across social media platforms, suggested a level of agreement with the criticisms. This moment of public mockery by the monarch and his esteemed guests could be seen as a significant blow to Prince Harry's credibility and standing. David Beckham, a close friend to the royal family and a respected public figure, did not hold back. He expressed disappointment over the memoir, suggesting that it crossed lines that should remain private. Beckham's critique was especially poignant given his own public life and the discretion he has maintained regarding his personal relationships. His words resonated with many who believe that certain aspects of royal life should remain sacrosanct. Sir Rod Stewart, known for his frankness, took a more humorous approach but was no less biting. His jests about the memoir's title, Spare, were laced with sarcasm, implying that Prince Harry's narrative was more about seeking attention than addressing genuine grievances. Stewart's comments highlighted a growing sentiment among some sections of the public and the media that Prince Harry's actions are more self-serving than altruistic. The implications of this public ridicule are far-reaching. For King Charles, this event could be interpreted as a subtle yet clear message of disapproval towards his son's decisions. The laughter and camaraderie shared with Stuart and Beckham over the criticism of Spare may be viewed as a reflection of the broader royal sentiment. It underscores the deepening chasm within the royal family, a rift that Prince Harry's memoir appears to have widened. Critics of Prince Harry argue that the memoir has done little more than fuel tabloid fodder and deepen familial divides. They contend that the very public airing of grievances undermines the dignity of the royal institution. Supporters, however, maintain that Prince Harry's candidness is a necessary step towards transparency and healing. Yet, events like the King's Foundation Awards add a complex layer to this debate, suggesting that not all royal disclosures are met with empathy or understanding. The King's Foundation Awards, intended as a night of philanthropy and recognition, instead highlighted the ongoing discord within the British royal family. King Charles's visible amusement at the criticisms of Spare speaks volumes about the current state of royal relations. As the world continues to dissect and debate Prince Harry's memoir, the clear message from this event is that not all within the royal circle are sympathetic to his cause. The laughter shared by King Charles, Sir Rod Stewart, and David Beckham may well be remembered as a defining moment in the ongoing saga of the House of Windsor.